Hey everybody, happy full moon. Uh, welcome to my Facebook group. This is Jessica Alstrom Quantum Life Community. This is a Facebook group that I developed um, about two years ago to um, capture a lot of my uh, followers from YouTube and from my website. So as you guys are popping up online, I just wanted to kind of introduce myself if you're brand new to my page and let you know where else you can find content if you like what you hear in this, this channeled message. Obviously first you can check out my website, www.jessicaallstrom.com uh, and you can check out my other Facebook groups. Um, this, in this particular Facebook group, I utilize this to kind of just um, you know meet and greet with you guys and pop in and two to three times a month do um, actually, about three to four times a month now, since the energy has shifted, utilize this particular Facebook group to um, to be able to channel to like, to like full moon reports, new moon reports. This is where Second Sunday it lives and breathes. So, for you guys that are new to my group, um, welcome. Um, if you do like anything that you hear tonight and you're ready for, uh, you know, more accelerated teachings on the shift, on quantum mechanics, on spiritual science, on any of those things that resonate with you and your journey, um, you can check out my subscription group, which is Jessica Alstrom Quantum Life Tika, T-I-C-A, and that is short for Transcendence International Consciousness Academy. In 2014, I opened Transcendence Wellness Centers, and they were 5D wellness centers that housed every modality under the spiritual roof. We had everything from the John of God beds to quantum healing to quantum healing hypnosis therapy to Reiki, you name it. And for two years, we um, worked in Kansas developing more and more of those wellness centers and basically were full service practitioners. And um, I kind of realized that every single person that I was meeting that was asking for a healing was a divine master and teacher themselves. And so I thought, how can I help develop these teachers instead of just service a healing? So I decided that I would move away from the Wellness Center brand and I would move into teaching. And now what I do is I focus on working with teachers and um, light workers that are here to hold space and really change the world. So that's really where my focus is on helping light workers and teachers expand into total and ultimate potential. So absolute freedom of time, relationships, health, and abundance. That's really where my favorite place is to teach on. I teach everything from quantum mechanics to parallel realities to um, different modalities of shamanic sh spirituality depending on what is needed and um, for the moment. So I, I have a tendency to channel without time and space. So all of my stuff ends up being timeless, which means if you're just hearing me for the first time, or you just found me on YouTube a week ago, probably something I said two years ago is still, is still permanent for you. So, um, that is my highest excitement. That is my purpose on the planet. And that is why I'm here. So I have separate, several different ways that you can connect. Facebook is a great way for me to work internationally and globally in a, a, a larger co coaching forum than just Kansas. Um, and we've been able to implement these teachings in 106 countries now. So it's very exciting to see quantum mechanics go global and go uh, mainstream. And... Um, and if you are ready for something bigger, obviously I do a three month um, intensive, intensive mentorship that I take about um, five to 10 um, every three months and basically work from beginning, middle to end in mastery. And it's pretty hardcore uh, mentorship. And um, so there's other things that you guys can check out as you're popping online. First and foremost, um, I'm breaking up really bad. Okay, if you guys, if someone else, it seems like my connection is fine now, but if I start breaking up, please let me know. Um, I can tell my kids in the other room to turn off their devices because they're sucking all of the Wi-Fi. All right, um, okay, so let me jump into the message because I have a really long night ahead of me. Tuesday nights are my night that I actually spend in my subscri subscription group, that word. It, and um, I do a live question and answer in that group every Tuesday night at about 8.30. Um, I just looked and there's about 24 questions, so that channeled is about two and a half hours. 
and everything from you know relationship stuff to um, spiritual stuff to psychic stuff, whatever it is. I, there's when you're when you're teaching in the quantum realm, there are no limitations in what we can channel. So it's really fun for me to be able to pop online and do this question and answer every Tuesday night in that group. Um, so, but I wanted to I wanted to spend at least 15 to 20 minutes in this group every week when I'm not doing Second Sunday because of how fast and furious the ascension is moving now. And being able to kind of pop in and, and give you guys kind of a message to let you know you're not crazy, you're not alone, everything that's happening to you is, is perfectly divine, and it kind of gives you something to kind of grasp onto until the following week uh, or the following second Sunday or, you know, until you can get your next next insight. Um, a lot of you guys are already channeling, you're already healing, you're already teaching, but every once in a while it's really great to get clarification, it's really great to get confirmation, and that's really what my purpose is, is just to kind of give you confirmation and what you already had those gut feelings and, and let you know um, that you guys are exactly where you need to be. So the message, okay, so full moon, which is always an exciting shift uh, every month. You know, you are 70% water and the tides are affected by, you know, the tides are affected by the full moon. So you better believe that your body is being highly affected by every lunar uh, position. And when we have a full moon, what is happening is basically, it's almost like a mini uh, retrograde. The electromagnetic energy in your body, it gets really heightened. So manifestation is usually where it, it is in a, a state of completion at, around the full moon. Because basically what you're doing as a 70% water is you're becoming super, super magnetized. And that's why, you know, if, you, if you've if you heard of firefighters or, you know, cops or nurses, they're super busy in the ER and the sirens are going crazy around this time of the month because not everybody knows how to manifest positively. So this is usually when shit hits the fan. Or when breakthroughs happen and also this is a birth death cycle so this is every month you have this opportunity to finish up a little chapter and begin again and begin again and because we happen to be in Gemini right now which is the sign of communication it's the sign of flow it's the sign of light and airy it's the sign of you know it's 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 the sign of kind of being able to go with the flow it's the sign of being able to adapt to any situation or any circumstance and that's a really awesome place for us to be right now in Gemini because of what we just came through with the last several months. Um, but as we move into this full moon in Sagittarius, and I am zero, not an astrologer, but I get the downloads right at the last minute for you guys. Sagittarius is the opposite side of the spectrum when it comes to Gemini. And Sagittarius is all about the quest. The quest that you are beginning. Everything you've been shedding. You know, I told you guys, I believe, you know, just very, very recently in my last channeling that the death of 3D has begun, which means that the old paradigm is closing down. And when the old paradigm closes down, you have to realize that you built your old paradigm in your first seven years. Your first seven years is when you developed your core belief systems, you, you developed your core traumas, you developed your core, core sensitivities, and your core intuitions, all in those first seven years. And a lot of it was um, downloaded through observation, practice, and participation. So a lot of your belief systems have come from you observing your reality and then making a decision and then basically setting an intention and then acting that out. And that's how you became you. Well, that chapter is closing. So as those first seven years made you a version of human that would fit in the matrix but never fit in the matrix, that chapter of this earth story is closing. So what you're feeling is you're feeling pressurized and what you're actually manifesting right now is a basically is the highlight reel of your first seven years. Everything you're experiencing right now in this full moon of Sagittarius and this Gemini energy is a retrospect of your first seven years. So your first seven years is basically when um, your major emotional traumas, guilt, shame, humiliation, resentment, um, separation of self, the ego is formulated. And I always put the pyramid in my teachings where, you know, every year um, is very significant. First year is self-awareness all the way up to self-mastery and all the years in between where you are literally moving through different layers of awareness and realizing yourself through your own awareness, making a decision, becoming the character, becoming the state of being, acting that out, and 
and the manifestations that follow your belief manifest. Well, the universe is giving you a very big gift this month and saying, we're, let's be done with this. Let's be done with the old stories and the old paradigms and the old situations and the situational ships and the wound mates and all the pain and suffering that you have lived through and really take it to the next step because you don't need any of that where you're going. What you need from that is the wisdom, the, the, the certainty, the strength, the courage, the tenacity, that you have gained from living through all of those things and where you're heading is this place where you basically step into it and design based in your own intention, which means the future is unwritten. But if you're following, you're, you're bringing those seven years with you and you're recreating them through quantum entanglement and you're recreating them through your own belief system and you're recreating them through manifestations of you being unwilling to basically grow through it, you stay stuck and idle and basically what happens is if you're noticing right now that you're feeling stuck, you're noticing that debt or lack of money is really in your face or your waistband is expanding because basically this energy, Gemini and Sagittarius, is like expand. It's time to go. It's time to let's start the quest. And yes, you needed those first seven years to screw you up and get you lost so you could get found. And now you're found. And through your finding, you learned how to survive. You learned how to be human. You learned how to be here on this planet. Not through a lack of suffering and not through a lack of whatever, but you are now prime and conditioned to recalibrate your whole entire energy field. And you need to be able to let go of those first seven years. And that's why you're noticing in May, if you really look back over your first seven years, anything that you haven't healed is manifesting in the now, which means not being seen and heard, not feeling safe, not feeling free, not feeling abundant, not feeling good in your body. If you are noticing any of those symptoms right now, basically what you're doing is you're, you're going full circle because you know what? Everything is a spiral. Everything is a spiral and the pattern will continue until the pattern is clear. So basically what the universe is doing is saying, okay, we're gonna go through this first seven year spiral again. Let's collect all the things that we want to take with us. Let's let go of anything that is completely like done, that serves us no purpose to go forward. That means you're probably noticing people from the past are coming back and they're either apologizing or rearing their ugly head again. How are you gonna show up? So it's really all about action in 5D. Um, I haven't done a stillness meditation in two years. All of my meditation, all of my channeling, all of my downloads have come from motion oriented meditation, which means moving of my body. The, hand, this, the, the rest of the ascension will be about sound and light. So everything that is going to complete us is about movement and frequency and vibration. So the more we move, the more we let our subconscious have something to do, which is move our body, where we don't have to think so much and we can start really accepting downloads. To be still in 5D is an oxymoron. Literally, it's about movement. It's about integrating that masculine and feminine energy inside of us and saying yes to my desires and let me act them out. Yes to my desires and let me act them out. I don't care if they, they don't, the circumstances don't allow me to be that person yet. I'm going to act as if. I'm going to show up. So really what happen, it's happening is, is you're getting an opportunity right now to sev show up as your higher self in your first seven years. You didn't have this you with you your first seven years. You didn't have all of this survivor energy within you. So now you do, and you basically get a redo because believe it or not, you are recycling your first seven years so that cycle can go complete and you can start this new seven year cycle with Uranus coming in that's all about grounded earth energy, about you as a light worker feeling safe on the planet and you being able to show up and deliver your message. And your message is how was I an example of love today? That's it. That's it. You want to know what your purpose is? Be an example of love. You want, to, you want crazy abundance in your life? Be an example of abundance. Be an example of freedom, which means that complaining and judging and waiting and suffering and all of those things, that's literally old paradigm energy that will cause you to break down and break down and break down. It's almost like tough love has entered. It's a face off between mom and child going, you know, you're not getting up off the table until you eat all your food and you're going, I'm not eating my food. And the universe is like, I'll wait. 
And so that's what is actually happening right now is you're feeling, if you're feeling stuck right now, it is because you are not allowing those first seven years to basically materialize and dissolve through you from your state of being in awareness. So sh how you show up, how you speak your truth, how you take your power back, how you are an example of unconditional love, how are you an example of freedom, how are you an example of abundance, how are you showing up for yourself? You know, there's one thing about, I, I'm really big in my Tika group about discipline, and discipline is actually a horrible, horrible trigger word. So the better word for discipline is self-care, but a lot of times people think that self-care is about taking a bubble bath and eating chocolates. And self-care in 5D is about what do I need to do with my body so that I can maintain crazy ass focus? What can I do with my body that so that I can be completely obsessed with my dreams? What can I do with my body that will allow me the energy to be able to channel? What can I do with my body that opens up my intuition? So it's really not about pampering the ego. It's about, it's about basically becoming the spiritual athlete that you are and fine tuning yourself. You know, we were in the minor leagues and now we're moving into the major leagues. And any of you guys that are ready are noticing that these opportunities for your new quest are starting to show up. You may be terrified of them. You may be terrified that there's things coming to an end and things breaking down. But at the same time, there is so much effing opportunity right now spread everywhere around you that you would have to be literally locked in the past if you did not see these nuggets that are being placed in front of you. People are showing up and whispering little things in your ear and you're going, oh yeah, that's how I feel. But I'm reflecting on the past. I'm reflecting on the past. Well, look at the past, learn from the past, grow from the past. Speak your truth to that mother you keep manifesting as a horrible boss. Manifest your truth to your wound mate boyfriend that is locking you out of your freedom. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of it and start your quest, okay? So that's really what this full moon is about. It's about you leveling up and the universe literally through the astrology giving you the opportunity to help inspire because believe it or not when the moons change and the, and the planets align it helps give that little spark to your intuition to help you move that's why when you read your horoscope you're like that's me because it's literally in alignment with the, what what it's going to take to kind of poke the bear and put the, the carrot in front of you to get you moving so for me, being a Gemini, this, this month is all about destruction and rebirth. It's like this was when I literally moved from spirit to human. And so there has been a lot of trauma around that event. And every year I would manifest these horrible situations around my birthday that were literally felt like death experiences until I literally just looked at the pattern and was like, okay, this has got to change. I'm going to look at this as a celebration. I'm going to look at the death of my 3D life as a celebration and look at how much freedom I'm creating for myself and the Sagittarius full moon that is on the upper side of the spectrum that is going to allow me to begin my new quest is just going to help me as a catalyst so look at this as a catalyst look at fear as an opponent look at fear as a motivator look at fear as something that doesn't really exist past what you are terrified from the past believing in Okay, so I've got a big night ahead of me in my Tika group, so I am going to get out of your face. Um, I hope that you milk this energy. I hope that you utilize what the universe is handing you and, and run with it because if you start running, you will really start that forward motion. You're not going to leave anything or yourself behind. You're going to actually catch up with yourself in the parallel reality of the you that's waiting patiently, abundantly, free, and happy. I'll leave you with that. I will join the rest of my guys over in my Tika group, in the subscription group, so that I can do their question and answer tonight. And um, thank you guys for spending a few minutes with me tonight. See you soon.